Morning. Today we're actually leaving Seoul. We're coming back tonight, but we're doing a day trip. We made it. <laughs> this is the Concino Concrete Concert Hall, which is basically a museum for sound. The people of the hall themselves choose which music they play that day. You go in, listen to the music, and look at the design of the building because it's a really cool building. It is quite jarring in some way because right across from here, I'm looking at it right now, is the Han River and North Korea. I don't know, I don't know how to process that yet. Like I'm literally looking at North Korea. Right now we're just waiting for it to open. It opens in about, in about five minutes. So. I just stepped outside to gather my thoughts a little bit. When we walked in, they were playing classical music, which gave it a very kind of heavy atmosphere. I think it really depends on when you walk in, what the atmosphere is. The design of the building itself is very outfacing, And in the belly is where the sound system lives. So all of the chairs are pointing either outside to the window to look at the view or towards the speakers. And you're free to walk around and change seats throughout your viewing. Might sound weird, but it's like it's constantly hugging you with the sound. So coming outside and, and hearing the birds again, it's, it's a little jarring. But in a good way, I don't know how to explain it, this feeling. I've never had this feeling before. When you walk in, you do get a complimentary bottle of water. And what I think is neat as somebody that designs stuff is that every seat in the hall is equipped with a holder with the exact measurements of that specific bottle. I think there's only one word that really comes to mind if I'm asked to describe what this experience is like. I'd say soul soothing. It really is a place for sound and music lovers. So if you come to Seoul and you want to get away from the hectic bus hustle and bustle of the city, highly recommend. Now back to Seoul, hopefully before traffic. We're back. Let's see if we can get redemption. <laughs> I really hope they let us in this time. <laughs> Thank you. 
This is the Hyundai Cart Design Library. We got refused at the door last week because we don't have a Hyundai card. But then somebody on my Instagram said that if I download the Dive app, I can get in. We got here quite late. I think it closes in like an hour, but there's thousands on thousands and thousands of books. I don't know where to begin. I need to sit down and process what just happened. How long did we spend inside? Hour and a half? That concludes my Soul Design Journal. There are a bunch of things that didn't make the cut, such as the drawings that I made in my notebook and a bunch of photos, and a couple scenes that just didn't really flow. But I'm thinking of maybe putting all the episodes together and making a full movie with extended cuts, so let me know if you'd like to see that. I might do that by the end of the summer. Might is a big word there. <laughs> Something that really stood out to me is anytime we'd visit a bookshop or any other cool place for that matter, I'd ask if they could recommend any Korean artists or designers that I could look into, and a lot of the time Time, they mostly carried European or American design. I'd really like to get more of a grasp of the design ethic and design ideas of Seoul and Korea as a whole. So if you know any Korean designers or artists that you could recommend to me or anyone watching this video, I'd highly appreciate it if you would put it down in the comments because that way we can all understand a little bit more of design. You know how this thing goes. Please watch another video and subscribe, leave a comment, all of that YouTube shebang. It really does help. And that's it. <laughs> See you in the next adventure. Bye. Where am I going? I'm at my house. Why am I?